fans it is time for another episode of brown and orange weekly i am your co-host dean samples followed by the one and only my guy clarence wilson how are you bro what's up dean it's been a second man between us uh, sickness and life uh we were running we've been running a little bit behind but we're back with y'all we back it's still off season two you know. that's right but we're back that's all that matters Got some things we want to get into today. I know Clarence does. You want man, to jump right into it, my man? Yeah, man. I don't know right. which one of y'all bumba clad, bumba clad bums online is talking about trading Nick Chubb, but please stop. Dude, yeah, please. <laughs> please stop. Just stop. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. The Browns, I'm sorry, I've been wanting to talk about this all day long. So I'm, I'm a, little, a little fired up. We, we texted earlier today. You know I'm a little fired up. You're a little fired up. Um, the Browns have two people they can count on on offense right now that we know for sure 100%. Nick Chubb and Amari Cooper. You can say whatever you want about Deshaun Watson, he, that we have an elite quarterback, but guess what? He didn't look elite at the end of last year. Ooh. I'm not I'm, – I'm, I'm hoping that he returns to form, but we can only go on what we just saw. Right. He wasn't a lead. So so I don't know who thought that it might be. I, I think ESPN might have come up with this, but and I've seen it online. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. It, so we're gonna trade one of our weapons, like a proven commodity, a probably top running back in the NFL. We're gonna trade him for cap relief and a draft pick. I mean, it's Cleveland. And look at look at the Titans. I heard the rumors today they're shopping Derrick Henry. What I could, you already I messed under, up trading yeah. Brown to the Eagles? Like mm -hmm. I can understand that a little bit more because they they've run the treads off of him. <laughs> like they they've beaten that poor man to the ground, but they're obviously they feel that they're not going anywhere with their quarterback. No. So Tannehill's done. Yeah. I, I mean, I can, I wouldn't do that one either, but I can understand that one a little bit more. With us, we're supposed to be on the cusp of something great, and because from what I've read, the Browns are going to be revamping their offense again to make it a more of a, a passing aggressive. offense. Yeah, be aggressive too. So again, if you're going to revamp the offense, that means are we going to see another six games of? subpar play from Watson while he gets acquainted to this offense, like he was trying to get acquainted to the last offense? you saying the last six games of the season Deshaun was subpar? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> compared to compared to what he was, I mean... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> dude, he played football the, in almost two years. You got yeah, exactly. Exactly. He was moving so, forward and up. Yeah, he was going up, but I mean, that, let's just be honest. He, he's not that guy who you know was throwing for two fifty, and it, his footwork looked great. And there were there were plays, there were glimpses. We we said it many a time. There were glimpses of how good he could be, but it wasn't like. But you know damn well basis. his supporting cast at times didn't show up either. Oh well, between that. But and at the, the end of the day, it always comes back on either coach or the quarterback. So. Yeah, but I just can't see how anybody would ever think that like that. If the coach, another thing I saw today is it, because of the way they're gonna they're going to revamp this offense that it was gonna be Watson throwing thirty to forty times a game and you know Chubb getting you know twelve to fifteen with maybe some um, runs mixed in for whoever the backup ends up being uh, whether that's the Ernest or if they because I heard a rumor today that they might be able to get him back or they might. Ford. 
They yeah, move. or Ford. I'm sorry. Ain't no way in hell that I'm going to let Chubb go. Hell no. Because because we can't figure Absolutely out a way. Absolutely not. We, Absolutely. Yeah, we can't figure out a way to get him involved with this new offense, man. If the coach can't figure out a way to get him involved in the offense, then the coach needs to go, not him. Yeah. He already dropped the ball with Hunt. Mm-hmm. That could have been something special. Yeah. Everybody knows it. Uh, you so know what it really me, man. You know what it brought me to? It brought me to like it made me start thinking about like coaches who got fired and then their teams went on to have success. And mostly it was in more of like the basketball world, but like you know, it's going to show my age a little bit, but Doug Collins, he was the Chicago Bulls coach before Phil Jackson. Oh, yeah. They let Phil, they let Doug Collins go because they couldn't get past the Pistons and the Celtics and all that, and they brought in Phil, and Phil did the damn thing. Um, same thing with more recently with our guy David Blatt here in Cleveland. They yeah. brought they, they you know what David Blatt had one good season. All of a sudden, they realized they couldn't get to where they wanted to go, so they let they let go of Blatt. They brought in Lou. They won a championship. So kinda these like, people kind of were- like the Mark Jackson with the Warriors. Exactly, exactly. So these people, but these people are thinking in reverse. They're thinking, no, 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 no. You know it's mind boggling that Mark Jackson still hasn't had an opportunity to coach in the league. By the way, very mind boggling. He wasn't terrible, but no. that doesn't matter. It's for a different yeah. time. But but the, but but you would, these people who were talking about trading Nick Chubb, they'd have you think you know what? They should have traded Michael Jordan and kept Doug Collins, <laughs> or they should or they should have traded Kyrie and LeBron and, and kept Blatt because we couldn't figure out a way to use them right. Man, get the. Mm. I, I don't get it. I don't understand I don't, where these people are coming from. I don't either, bro. I, I'm just. Yeah, well, you're on some if you want to trade. I see my. I mean, I know the guy. He's probably being sarcastic. He said he would trade Nick Chubb for a bag of Andy Caps hot fries. I mean, like, hot what? fries are great, but fifteen hundred yards and trucking people is better. Thanks. Big thanks. <laughs> that is one hundred percent correct. Yeah, y'all need to just stop with the Chubb. Trade talks to stop, please. I don't get it. Like, I, I'm just trying to figure out where we, like, as Browns fans, and some of the people that are saying this stuff online, the people that some of y'all listen to on a regular basis, which is bothersome because it's like, this the guy you listen to? This guy talking about trading our 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 best player because we're going to revamp the offense. So we start with him. Yeah, like for for and and the thing and if they were talking about trading Chubb for like, I don't know, uh, like for like a superstar receiver or DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, Hopkins is even old. I'm I'm talking about I'm talking about like, Hopkins is old. Um, I'm trying to think of like somebody comparable that's. A star I, wish, I really wish we would have made a trade for Calvin Ridley. Me too. He just mm-hmm. now got reinstated today. Yep. Damn. I, yeah, it, I hope he balls out in Jacksonville. Me too. Is it, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing this just for a cap for cap root space and a second or third round pick. <sighs> And that so then you're so then your only real weapon left on offense is Coop. And you're and you and it this, all this depends on on if Watson can get back can get right anyway. Does Coop progress from where he what he, the last season he just had here with the Browns? I mean, he's getting up this, he's getting up to an age. He could start to decline a little bit. Was that like we don't know? This I'm not trying to be negative. Program. I'm just trying to be realistic. I'm looking at everything in a different perspective. We don't know. How many times have we seen people come here and have one good year and the next year is just start to decline out of nowhere? I hope that's not now, the case. You, now, do you think that here's 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 my the biggest thing? Because we all know the season is going to depend on whether Watson gets back, gets right. 
to your point, can Watson develop that rapport with Cooper that Jacoby seemed to have with him? I, I think, think so. yes. What do you think? Like, I think so. I think uh, now that they can have a whole offseason, they can kind of gel and do stuff off the field. Um, it's going to help tremendously. And come training camp, I think we're going to see – I think uh, this offense is actually going to surprise a lot of people as far as the connection between Watson and the receivers. That's what this all depends on, man. And I, I'm still hoping that we bring in a free agent in the wide receiver room. But... I think at this point they have to bring in two. I, I feel like – the money is going to get spent on the D line. That's where I kind of am hoping that's where the major money is going to get spent at. And then they're going to bring in another wide receiver through free agency. And then they're going to draft somebody is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, a linebacker from the Texans just recently got released. I can't think of the name. Um, he visited the Browns today. So. So uh, the, what's Kendricks from uh, the Vikings got released. Yeah. How much is he going to want though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we just don't have the dough right now. Unless, unless the Schwartz effect. We don't know. Let's see what kind of pool Schwartz has. I'd be shocked if. I fuck if, around and find out. Give him my hello. <laughs> I'd be shocked. But yeah, I'm. I'm I don't There's know. There's players man, out there that want to come to a place and change things around and start something special. Jarvis was one of them. We just failed to deliver. Yeah. I miss Jarvis Landy, by the way. Juice. It, it would be nice to have a leader in a locker room like him. I still get hype anytime I see that locker room on an HBO. Mm. Say, I should not live here no more. No, yeah. It's contagious. <laughs> they have me wanting to run through a brick walk of wall, man. <laughs> Wait, is, but is there anybody... Is there anybody in your eyes that you could see that they would make a deal for Chubb for, like a player? I'm not, I'm not taking no second or third round pick, even though that's probably what you could get for him in cap space. Is there a player out there that you could see that you the Browns would make a trade for using Chubb, and I think he'd do 15 mil this year using Chubb that you would bring in and be like, all right, cool. It's hard. It is. It's really hard. <laughs> I don't know. What about you? I mean, that's what I'm sitting here trying to think of, and I'm like, is there? It's tough. Is there anybody? Because, like I said, I'm not. I'm not taking no draft pick and caps, but and cap relief. That's not. I'm gonna trade a proven guy for a crapshoot in the draft. I'm cool. Right. But I mean. I'm just trying to think, like, it'd have to be a, a whiteout, I would think. Yeah. Um, Damn, I don't know. I don't know, dude. How about... <laughs> That's tough. Would you trade him for... Uh, would you trade him... For Jamar Chase, hell no. Would you trade him for Justin Jefferson? Yes. <sighs> See, I don't. Again, it's it's... Tough, bro. <laughs> just wait. Are we saying just straight up? I mean, yeah. If we took, let's just say we take we take salary out of it. Do we do? I mean, would you trade him for a Stefan Diggs? No. Stefan's got some age on them legs now. Um, I might. I'm. You'd have to package somebody with Jamar Chase to get me to pull the trigger on that trade. I just. I just can't see 
a a deal that makes sense for the Browns to deal him unless they're getting a, some kind of star back in return. That's it. That's, that's they're too devoid of talent as like as of today, as of March 6, 2023, they have not made one move in free agency. They have not we haven't had a draft yet. We haven't, you know, we haven't been able to do anything player acquisition wise. So as of today, we don't have a lot of weapons on the roster. We don't have shit on the defense inside either. No. We can get into how we feel about the Browns today as opposed to, you know, before, because I, I got, you know, we got something to say about that too, but like. What we got to say. Yeah, I, I just, until they make moves player-wise, they don't, all this, yeah, I'm happy they got new coaches. I'm happy they got, you know, I'm happy they brought in Schwartz, you know, the special teams guy, all right, cool. But there's a long list of coaches who have come to Cleveland with, I think, Bubba, I think Bubba coming here is actually a big move. I, I mean, I hope so, but there's a long list of uh, of coaches who come here with great resumes who have... And he used to play here. Yeah. He gets us to an extent. He knows. Yeah. He knows how real this shit is here. I feel like that's what we need. I wish Josh Cripps could get another shot at coaching. This, this uh this regime doesn't seem that uh big on bringing in former players it seems like you know I, I I thought by this time Bernie would have a job within the Browns several times over but it doesn't seem like it happened not only that then they they let him go for the damn gambling thing <laughs> on some trash they could have handled that better so much better did him so did my better. did my boy wrong man he was trying to do a positive thing. Yeah, man, so much better. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just fired up because we don't, we don't have a whole lot, and people are talking about trading people for draft picks. Uh, it just, it just doesn't. Do you think the Browns find a way to move up in the draft? Do you think they stay put? I'm not sure with what. We like, have <laughs> like uh, we have all the, we have a bunch of money and assets tied up in Watson. I... <sighs> no, I, I, no. <laughs> leave my man alone. He got for the third season in a row. I'm predicting a breakout year for him. <laughs> <laughs> I better see Schwartz. him on your. I better see him on your fantasy roster next year. I'll pick him up. Best believe I'll pick him up. Schwartz, I I am your biggest supporter. Believe we're redrafting in that dynasty league. Oh, that's right. That's right. There's your opportunity, bro. You can get him late. You can get him late. Stupid late. Yeah. You probably pick him up off waivers. I was about to say, like free agency (laughs) late. (laughs) Take him in the second round. Take him in the second round. Fuck it. All right. Would you take? No. (laughs) <laughs> would you would you take Dalvin Cook for Nick Chubb? Even though they both have been the only players that have over a thousand yards for like the last three seasons, I'm gonna say no because Dalvin's been hurt several times. Mm-hmm. And that worries that that's worrisome to me. Now the one thing I did notice last year, and I'm gonna you? throw the name. Uh, no, hell no. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna throw out a name here because one of the things that I'm that you know that we both noticed, you and I, is that Nick Chubb caught a couple passes out the backfield towards the end of last year. They did. He's not known for his hands. No, not at all. But I figure that's a way to use him. Now, would you trade Travis Etienne for Nick Chubb? He stays on, he'd be able to stay on the field all three downs. <laughs> Hell I'm, no, dude. I'm just trying to think of real like. Hell I mean, no. You already know where I'm at. I ain't trading him for nobody. But it seems like everybody Derrick wants Henry, to Henry for Nick Chubb. No, no. Nah. Derrick Henry catches less balls than uh <laughs> Chubb, and Chubb don't catch balls. Do he? <laughs> 
Let's see here. Um, if they're gonna let if they're gonna let Hunt go, which they are, it is what it is. Um, he's gonna walk, go and sign somewhere else. I really hope they used Mitchell Felton and kind of use him like a Darren Sproles or Danny Woodhead. Well, they need that guy. Remember Danny Woodhead? That. Yeah, I remember him. They need that dude. Yeah. Oh, man. Don't trade Nick Chubb. Yeah. Let's move on. I'm tired of getting angry over it. Yeah, unless you're getting back something that's worth a damn, not cap space. That ain't much. Second round pick. There ain't much. There's not much. I'm good. All right. I stand next, with next, Chubb. Yeah. Next, next topic. We haven't uh, since we ain't seen you all in a while. Um, and I saw this posted and another it pissed me off too <laughs> do you feel better about the Browns today than you did at the end of last season Dean yes I do why is that sir After a few weeks, well, months of Browns being gone, my wounds are healed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a it's an every year thing. I'm I'm familiar with this whole it's like a little system. I hurt for a little while. I heal. I start get optimistic around draft time. Get excited, and then just. And then start right back over again. So it's about that time for I start getting uh, excited and optimistic. But I don't know. I'm really curious what changes they're going to make to this offense, like they're claiming they're doing. And um, it makes me excited. I can't wait to see. I can't wait till preseason. I can't wait till the Hall of Fame game shit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't really... Ex- put my finger on what it why I'm excited. I just like I said it's just it's a it's a combination of a few things. So how about you? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Here's where I'm at. I love the Browns. I love them to death. They are going to be my team to the day that I die. I'm raising my poor six-year-old son to be a Browns fan. I'm raising my poor nine-year-old daughter to be a Browns fan. We are in no better spot than we were at the end of last season. Did we get coaches? Yes. As we just said, we got Schwartz, we got Bubba, we got coaches. But Um, all season we were wanting that. Yeah, very true. Very true. But we got it. I'm at that point, though, where, like, we still don't know what we – Watson is still a question mark. There's no guarantee he's returning to form. I want him to so badly, but there's no guarantee he's returning to form. And, again, as of March 6, 2023, those coaches we got are coaching the same roster we had last year minus some players. I get happy in the player acquisition phase. That's, I know. that's when I get happy. This is why I'm like starting to get excited and optimistic because like drafts right around the way, free agency is about to kick off. It's about I get excited. I don't know. It's about the only time I actually give a shit about other teams because I like I like to see who's going where. Yeah. I, I'm just you know what I I think that uh, I think I'm frustrated more than anything. Yeah. And, yeah, because I, I thought that we would – I wanted to know, like, at the end of last season that Watson was going to be all right. It's going to be all right, man. Man. I'm about to hit you in the jaw with some positivity. Man. <laughs> he got I, you. I, I'm, I, I think he's going to be all right, too. But as we as I've said many a time, there's this thought in the back of my bald, freshly shaven head. I'm doing that, fine. Uh, <laughs> That, what if he doesn't? What if he does not get back? Then there's always next year. 
Bro, I've been saying that my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> been saying that for like 40 years, man. You're right. You're right. I, I just don't. Between the player acquisition and we're not knowing what's up with Watson, I am I'm bothered, man. I, I this and, and on top of it, as like I was saying before, they're putting in a new offense. So if just, is he yeah. gonna play the yeah, that first six games? Is he gonna look something if they're similar? if they're building an offense catered to Watson's skill set, I think that is so huge. Mm-hmm. So um, but it shouldn't be to the detriment of the guys we got on the roster now either, like Cho. Yeah, but you're paying two hundred some two hundred plus million for Watson. It's it's you know the Hasman's got money. It's time to win or shut up. Oh, speaking of money. So I, I, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little bothered by the things I've been seeing coming from Brown's Nation. Um, Brown's Twitter is wild now. It's wild. Speaking of money, uh, Dome Stadium. Oh yeah, um, I heard the the city kind of shut that down, from what I understand. But I was seeing that I think it's like one billion to put a dome onto the existing stadium now. Or where we can get a brand new one for two to three billion. So it's like get away from the lake. How about that? It doesn't give us any home field advantage. Come on. It's cold as shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Half the players on the team aren't even from here. Just because they're wearing brown orange doesn't mean they're like prepared for that type of shit. Yeah. I- I'm I'm all for a stadium. The dome, so we can the city can host, you know, Final Fours, Super Bowls, WrestleManias, mm-hmm. all that. I'm I'm cool with that. But I live in Cuyahoga County. I don't want to pay for that shit. No, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not. I'm in there too. I don't want to pay for it. If Jimmy, if Jimmy can afford to buy part of the damn Bucks, he can afford to buy a stadium. Was he on the soccer team? Mm-hmm. The Browns and now the Milwaukee Bucks. Mm-hmm. Good for you, man. Yeah, but you know, don't don't buy the Milwaukee Bucks one week and then come asking me for money for a new stadium the next week. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Miss me with that shit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but I digress. Sorry, sorry. Um, I don't know. I just until until player acquisition happens, man. I just can't. I can't get happy. There's so many holes. There's there so many a, holes. There is, but I'm trying, man. I'm trying to be optimistic here. You are. You are the guy. You are. You are Mr. Positivity. I, I will say this always, always. I'm trying, my man. I'm trying. I am Mr. Question every fucking thing. Um, <laughs> I don't sorry, blame you, though. <laughs> I don't blame you one bit. Um, How do you feel about the Hall of Fame game? We need to be there. Yeah, I heard pre- ticket prices are probably outrageous. We we need to be there. Kevin Sleds, hook your boys sure. up. Don't be dumb. <laughs> hook your boys up. Come on, baby. <laughs> like, please, about it. No, it'll be know. sweet. Yeah, we have it'll to be, be nice. We got we got to be down there, but it's gonna be nice to see Joe getting inducted. Absolutely, well deserved. Yes. I'm excited for it, man. I don't, know. I don't really got anything else. I mean, the next week we're gonna do an all time offense draft. How about how about how about this? I, I feel like we it's harder if we make it just since the return. Since returned, just since '99, because you know we can go back. Like it's pretty easy to you know pick Jimmy Brown and Bernie and them cats, but just since return, you know how hard it's going to be to pick wide receivers. (laughs) You know, (laughs) know, I mean, hard. Man, 
All yeah, right. We do, we we'll do that. Since the return. That's fair we do enough. Offense, do offense next week and do defense the week after. Yep. 99 up. And in those shows, we'll, we'll talk a little draft. We'll do one quarterback, one running back, three Two wide receivers. Outs. Three. We'll do three wide outs. Okay. A tight end. Mm. And a year defense. I mean, year offensive line. Mm. I'm cool with that. And then next week after we do, uh, we'll do defense. Go two D's, two DTs. Yeah. Two corners. Just go two linebackers, two safeties. About. Yeah, I'm about that. Bet. 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 We'll even, yeah, we'll leave special teams alone. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> whoever, gets, only, can, whoever gets Phil Dawson's the fuck cheat code. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. We only got what we got Phil Dawson and, uh, and, uh, Cribs. Yep. Well, and one, one season of, uh, Travis Benjamin. <laughs> I really wanted him to do well, dude. Did too. I did too. We wanted every Browns player to play well. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Unfortunately, it just doesn't work out for us. Nope. Unfortunately, not. So yeah, that's that's a good idea. I think we're it's a solid way to go about it. So next week, or yeah, next episode we're going to be doing the offense, and then the following episode we'll be doing defense. About it. Yep. Yep, we'll get into it. We'll get into some, some draft during that period too. Just so y'all know, we're probably going to go every other week until uh, draft time hits. Yeah, and then we can go. Uh, we can get into it deep. But hit um, us up on Twitter, chat yeah. with us. We're always trying to engage with you guys. We'll be posting some stuff and get you guys' opinion out there. Let us know how you feel. Talk to us. We want to hear from you. We will do story time one of these episodes too because y'all need to know why I hate Ohio State. Yes, I might even. We might even have to have us. We for that episode, we might even need to have my cousin on as a special guest because he was right there and lived it with me, and he he could probably tell the story just as well. Because we (laughs) guests are more than welcome whenever. Yeah, we had a two hour conversation about it the other uh, like two weeks ago about that game. Yeah, dude, just I I I told him that's that's why I hate Ohio State, man. And he he laughs and and he's a Buckeye through and through. He don't play, so I go no no. (laughs) <laughs> I got a new one. Well, make sure you let following all of Believe Lind social media. Um, I want to give a special shout out to two guys who are not with us anymore. Joey Schneider, Brandon Lewis, they've taken their talents to uh to another spot. Um, love y'all fellas. Um, those were our hosts of uh All Things Cavalier. Love y'all fellas. Wish y'all nothing but the best absolutely um, nothing but success we uh we're pulling for y'all and you know as we've said in uh, many text chains who knows we let's we could y'all you know, come back together like Voltron here shortly so oh yeah and i would love to see it and we appreciate you boys i wish you guys the best you guys are more than welcome whenever you want um yeah, I'm excited, man. Some things coming. I don't know. Anybody wants to sponsor your boys? Yeah. Up. Sorry, I feel I feel like I'm a little rusty today, man. We haven't done this in a few weeks. It's just, uh, it's all right. We'll be back. We'll be we're, back. we're back. We're back. We're don't good. worry. Love you guys. Follow Believe in Media. Uh, look for all the latest news and coming up. We got some announcements coming up too. Um, Especially with the future of all things Cavalier. We'll see what's going on with that. Um, we can talk some Cavs whenever we want to. But go follow uh, Guardians of the CLE, the best Guardians podcast out there. Go give them kicking, a follow. Kicking ass on the regular Guardians of go the CLE. Go follow the best Guardians podcast in the land. Mel and Jamie. Y'all just slaughter in the competition y'all got no competition y'all just killing it every week every week mad love keep it going mad keep it going and then if you're a wrestling fan you can follow uh the pile driver podcast i'm also the host on there follow by my boy mike go give still, them a follow we got a little bit of everything for everybody so still waiting on my invite what's up man 
Come on, man. I'm trying to get my right. wrestling tape off. Okay. <laughs> this upcoming week, we have a, a special guest coming on from Mega Championship Wrestling. An OG, Brandon Xavier. He's going to be on there. So maybe the week after? Yes. All right. Yeah. Cool. I'm trying to get my take off. All right. All right. We'll, we'll set it up. We'll get, the, we'll get it all ironed out. But until then, guys, we'll see you guys next episode. Go follow everybody. Thanks. Shout out to our sponsors. We love you guys. Let them know, Clarence, it's that time. In the words of he, he's now the South Carolina tight ends coach, I believe. The fuck? Yeah. Moving on Since up. When? <laughs> Frederick J. Kitchens. You don't wear brown and orange. No you don't matter. matter. There you go.